My name is Jazzy Kerber, and I was a member of the U.S. Rhythmic Gymnastics National Team from 2009 to 2015. Now I coach rhythmic gymnastics, and I'm also certified as a judge. The Tokyo Olympics are just around the corner, and this year, the United States will be fielding the largest rhythmic gymnastics team in the program's history. So today, I'd like to explain a little bit about how the sport works so that when you watch the Olympics this year, you know what to look for. But first, let me explain the basics of rhythmic gymnastics rules. Scores are divided into difficulty and execution. Within difficulty, we have body difficulties, balances, turns, and jumps, and apparatus difficulty, which includes risks, high tosses with at least two rotations included in them, and ADs, which are basically all of the other tricky apparatus movements that you might see. The apparatus are hoop, ball, clubs, and ribbon, of course. Execution score consists of technical execution and artistic execution. Technical execution means did you catch the apparatus? Did you finish your elements nicely or did you take extra steps? And also pointing your toes, straightening your knees, keeping your arms straight at the appropriate times, etc. Artistic execution is maybe slightly harder to explain, but you need to match your movements to the accents in the music. That's very important and the choreography needs to take up the full floor space. It needs to have variety, and there needs to be a clear character to the routine. It shouldn't be a situation where you could substitute a different piece of music and it would still look the same. So let's get to it. We'll take a look at Laura Zhang's hoop routine, a hoop routine that she competed at a World Cup earlier this year. Laura is probably the most successful U.S. rhythmic gymnast ever. She competed at the Rio de Janeiro Olympics and just secured a spot for the Olympics in Tokyo this year. This is a good catch for Laura to include because she's doing both a body difficulty, the side inclination balance, and an apparatus difficulty, the catch behind her back at the same time. So she's basically fitting in more difficulty in a short amount of time. So I always notice Laura's tosses are really high, the catch is unique, and then look how fast she turns here. Because she does more rotations by going this speed, the turn is worth more difficulty. She does another really creative kind of catch that I haven't seen much before. If you were to watch this live, you'd notice it even more than on video, but Laura really travels and takes up a lot of floor space. And that's something that you want to do in rhythmic gymnastics based on artistic execution. I actually don't think that was quite how Laura is supposed to catch this. I think it was a bit of a mistake, but Laura does a good job of minimizing her mistakes so that they're not as noticeable and so that she gets smaller deductions for them. That's part of just kind of being a smart rhythmic gymnast. I've literally never seen a perfect execution score. So a lot of this sport is about thinking quickly and knowing how you can get a smaller execution deduction rather than a larger one. Here, Laura does another AD catch during a balance. And then she does another variety of fuete turns, different from the one she did earlier. Gymnasts aren't allowed to repeat the exact same skill twice during a routine, but they can do something like one time straight leg fuetes and another time in the routine fuetes through passe like Laura did. I really like how this section of the routine matches the music, and you'll see here even under her toss, she's still doing dancing steps to match the music. Especially during the current code of points, in which there's no longer any limit on difficulty, it can be hard to still match the music while trying to do so much difficulty. Okay, so overall, that was a very solid routine, kind of a classic Laura Zhang routine. She tends to be very consistent. When she was younger, she used a lot of different styles of music, but she's kind of found her own style as she's gotten older, and she can be just really sharp and fast and expressive with that style. I hope you learned a little bit more about rhythmic gymnastics, and I hope that you're excited to watch their Olympic competition in Tokyo this August 6th through 8th.